Hello and welcome back everyone. So before we go ahead and jump into today's video, I just want to go ahead and announce that the IERC season three has begun and is currently going on. Uh, this will be going on all the way until December the 29th. Information for you is all on the screen. And if you have any uh, additional questions and stuff like that, or wonder what it is, it is an IRL tournament that is hosted at Gameology and Collectible Exchange. Uh, it is a partnership that we have going. And uh, I do have a dedicated video that I will go ahead and maybe link here, or you can go ahead and check out my page for the IERC explanation video. Uh, if there's any additional tournament uh, info about big tournaments happening at Collectible Exchange or any other big location, uh, that will be followed in the video itself. So, you know, you got to watch to go ahead and figure that out as well as uh, maybe if I have any spoilers about potentially some mats that may or may not be coming out from the one and only Yggdrasil Materias. So thank you all very much and enjoy the video. All right, hello and welcome to today's video. So once again, uh, we did have our top eight play out uh, a few weeks ago for the IERC uh, season two. So this is a winner's side of the bracket. All right, so that once again, this is round two. We're going to be going over rounds two and three here. Uh, so we have Joey over here on the left versus Brian over here on the right. We have Lightsworn starting off kind of strong, you know, getting some, not the best known, but at least getting some mills going, but also being able to go ahead and gold start for the JD. We are going to go ahead and summon up the aura to go ahead and clear the face down, which was the Ryko. We'll go ahead and get into some additional mills and uh we do oh wow we already just hit no wait i think we're still at three names right triple Ranko, jane and oh no, now we're at four names all right so that's turn one on the jd we're just gonna go ahead and mill now we definitely have all the names we need and we're gonna go ahead and what we're gonna do how we're gonna go in foolish most likely go ahead and go for the wolf uh, we will pitch the wolf. Wolf will be able to be special summoned. Uh, we're going to go into battle. We will get eat a deep prison. You know, womp womp. It happens. And then we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn. Our JD is live next turn. So if Brian does not have anything to go ahead and out it, he is going to be in a very tough position. So we are going to go ahead and start off with the whirlwind. We are then going to go ahead and summon up Shura. Shura is then going to go ahead and search for... Yeah, I think Blizzard's fine. So what, we have Blizzard, Blizzard, Clue, I don't know. What is that? Blizzard, Whirlwind, I think Dad, and Clue. All right, so we're going to go ahead and swing in. We're going to walk into a Gores, which is a little unfortunate. But, uh, you know, oh well. We will go ahead and get the JD from the Banish Pile. And I assume we just go ahead and special summon the JD, blow up the board potentially. Oh, we're just gonna go ahead and special summon. We're gonna go JD swing. Damage that we are gonna go ahead and activate a clue here potentially. We will. Oh, never mind. We have double on us. And then this is gonna go ahead and be game. <laughs> oh. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that's uh, that's just Lightsworn things. <laughs> that's just that is just Lightsworn things. Well, since we're in the side, we'll go ahead and go over a couple of announcements. Uh, once again, uh, as of right now, there are no larger tournaments planned for the near future. Uh, still waiting for the AC situation to go ahead and be fixed over there at Collectible Exchange. Uh, however, I do have some other stuff to go over. We can go ahead and talk about. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! actually giving us a retro, um, an official retro account on all platforms. So if any of you out there, you know, all of us retro enthusiasts, uh, it is now an official thing. There's an official account for it. And uh, as it says, welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Retro Games X account. Follow us to stay updated on Yu-Gi-Oh! Early Days Collections and Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Retro Themed Products. So with... Um, with like the 
what is it like older YCSs and the old like the time wizard tournaments like happening and doing very well and being very profitable I would assume for uh for Konami uh it, it's about time you know that they went ahead and made it official so it looks like either we're gonna be getting a lot of reprints we're gonna be having uh some new like sets potentially dedicated to maybe like time wizard formats or you know who knows uh you know i mean everyone else have been kind of joking about potentially a ots specifically for uh retro formats which would be kind of which would be kind of dope in all honesty because then we can maybe get like some ulties or some cards that don't have ulties yet uh and it would be absolutely fantastic so uh that is something that has happened all right that happened uh, today as of uh, September the 2nd, so uh, I definitely followed it on all platforms that I have social media on, and uh, I'm definitely going to be going ahead and keeping up to date with what's going on there, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for the future of like retro formats, so, alright, we're heading into game number two, Brian will be going first, we are just going to go ahead and, uh, we do have the gores in our deck, we're just going to go ahead and pass, uh, hopefully showing that we just completely bricked, but you know, we do have the gores in hand that we're kind of hoping that he goes ahead and swings into. We're going to go ahead and, uh, or not, we're going to char, not charge, um, recharge. And we will go ahead and we'll play gores. We are then going to go ahead and summon out the Lumina. Lumina is going to go ahead and we're going to pitch, summon out the Lila. Uh, we will swing in for 1,000. We'll swing in for the 17. And then I assume on the 17, we are going to go ahead and drop the gores. Yes, we will. That is good. And then do we have any additional back row to set? We do have one to set. Most likely is going to be a threatening roar. We're going to go ahead and mill six. We mill a wolf. That is uh, even even better we are just going to go ahead and mst in the draw phase we will chain the uh threatening roar we will go ahead and lure draw two uh, and we'll go ahead and banish the volume all right so we need a we needed to go ahead and clear this board we really do uh i don't know if there's any way we can go ahead and make black rose potentially or are able to make cataster so that way it can kind of just sit there but uh, our opponent does have Plague and Graveyard, so it is going to be kind of rough to go ahead and uh, deal with that scene as in. Uh, he can go ahead and Synchro and then go ahead and recur back whatever it is he Synchros with because he has another four. All right, so we're going to go ahead and search out the Gale. Uh, does this get us anywhere? We are going to special summon the Gale. Uh, if I to have the Wolf. We are going to go ahead and synchro. We're then going to go ahead and make ourselves a... Okay, we're going to go ahead and make Darken. Darken's fine. We are going to go ahead and send the Lumina to the graveyard. That's actually kind of huge. And then we're just going to go ahead and set a background and then pass the turn. Threatening Roar should be in the graveyard. I don't know why it's up there in the main monster zone. But, uh, yeah, I mean, sure. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Uh, we are then going to go ahead and put the I mean, what do we have in our hand? That's the real question is what in the world do we have in our hand to go ahead and potential deal with, you know, a back row that could be mirror force, could be torrential, could be monoliths, could be just a bunch of just, just different stuff. I do think we do have the names for JD. If we do have JD in hand, I think I see a Celestia. Uh, well, Celestia, Aaron, Ryko, and Lumina. And there's at least one JD in the graveyard. I mean, if we also have Monster Reincarnation, we could just grab the JD if we want. Uh, we also do have the Lila to go ahead and pop. So if we wanted to, we could just Lila, pop the... What? Pop the set. And then attempt to pop off from there but uh we are taking a uh huge thing here uh okay so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the cold wave okay so we obviously have some sort of play in our hand uh maybe we're gonna go ahead and make goyo here potentially 
swing over the dark end and grab the dark end, send the gores past turn. Uh, we're doing a massive think right here for no reason. Okay, so, uh, or maybe we are, I don't know. Uh, okay, so, we, uh, okay, we're, we're going to stack for plague instead of Lila affecting, potentially. Uh, okay, no, no, we're not. Wait, yes, uh, wait, no, wait, um, yes, no, possibly, um, maybe. Uh, this is at one and a half times speed, right? Hold on. Uh, it is at one and a half times speed. Uh, I might have to put this to two times speed. Uh, okay, so we are going to go ahead and bring out the plague. And uh, we are eventually now, uh, yes, we are going to go ahead and synchro. We will then go ahead and make ourselves the Goyo here, I would assume, correct? Yes, we will. Okay. All right. Fantastic. We are then going to go ahead and Goyo over the dark end. I, I, I feel like we should have been there uh, potentially very long ago. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and swing. We're going to go ahead and take the dark end. Uh, we'll just go to main phase two. We'll go ahead and send, and then, then I think we pop the whirlwind so that way he doesn't get any more recursion. Yes, we will go ahead and pop the whirlwind. We'll go and uh, yep, all right, we'll set a monster. End phase will mill three, and we'll go ahead and pass it on over. We are gonna go ahead and draw. We draw into another whirlwind, which is actually kind of nice. But uh, looking down dark end and Goyo is uh, a bit rough to say the least. And we're also under the effects of cold wave. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna go and special summon out the cyber dragon. We're gonna go enter battle, attempt to swing over the dark end. And we will go ahead and swing over the dark end. We are then, uh, we cannot set. What is in our hand? Is this Sirocco? I think it is Sirocco. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and flip the right row, pop the back row. We're gonna mill three. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and recharge the JD. And uh, that's gonna be all she wrote, I believe. Right, and we just go straight to battle here. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and swing over, deal 800. Uh, you'll go ahead and take, we'll swing in for 200. 200 and swinging for 3,000 putting this at what 400 I think right here right oh, no, 700 okay uh, and then we're gonna go end phase mill 3 end phase mill 4 and we've mill a garden up oh my goodness all right we're gonna go ahead and draw uh we draw into a bottomless uh a little too late. I mean, not that we could have set it in the first place, but uh, it is what it is. I mean, we do have the Sirocco in hand, so we... Yeah, I don't think there's really anything that gets us out of this situation whatsoever. Because even if we go... Uh, no, because we already used the Gale. That's right. Uh... And our opponent does have Necro Gardena in the graveyard to go ahead and stop any play that we're potentially going to do. Wait, do we have a play? Potentially? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and activate the Whirlwind. We'll summon the Sirocco. Sirocco, we're gonna go ahead and search for... Bora? Yeah, I don't think there's any play here, they, at least with the hand that we have, that we're able to capitalize and do anything, because our one of Gale is in the graveyard, unfortunately. Okay, so we will go ahead and grab Bora. And we're supposed to summon out the Bora. Uh, swing over the Lila, swing over the Raikou, and then... Past turn? Past turn with 700 life points left. Alright, we'll swing over, we'll attempt to swing over the Cyber Dragon and then we'll pass. Uh, I very much assume we just go JD here.
We should just JD JD if it's uh, what was it? What why? I mean, I mean, sure. Swing. Yeah, I, I think that was a little bit overcomplicated. We just JD if it's road, it's road, and then we just swing over with the. Uh, what is it? Um, what is it with the cyber dragon or whatever? Either way. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and move over to Sean versus Nima. All right, so Sean did go ahead and start off with a terrible opening hand. I think that was a what? A wait, hold on. What was that he started off with? All right, so well, Nima started. Nima's gonna go ahead and T send pass. So Sean's gonna go ahead and draw. We're gonna go ahead and summon out the Vayu. Vayu's gonna go ahead and swing. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and uh, pop it. And then we're gonna go ahead and mill. And then Sean will go ahead and set a back row and then pass the turn. All right, Nima will go ahead and draw. Ooh, draw another dust sheet's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and summon out the Lila. And I think we just go to battle. So Oh no, we're just we're gonna attempt to pop. We'll go ahead and jar greed, and then we're gonna go ahead and set a back row, and then pass the turn. We will go ahead and mill. Not the best of mills. It's unfortunate, you know. It happens. We are gonna go ahead and dust shoot, and so we got Blizzard, Blizzard, Gale, Bora, Brain Control, and a Legacy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, getting rid of the Bora is probably the best play. Is it the Bora or the Gale? All right, we're gonna sub out the Blizzard. The Blizzard effect, you wanna target the value. We'll enter battle, swing. Will it connect? Yes, it will. And then we'll set the legacy and then pass the turn. All right, so anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and set a monster to the back row and then pass it back over to Sean. Sean's gonna go ahead and legacy and draw phase, go ahead and get a card deeper we do go ahead and grab ourselves a whirlwind but it doesn't really do us much good we're gonna go enter battle swing we'll go walk into a mirror force that feels bad and i feel like we don't do anything here because <laughs> it could be a reiko and we don't okay never mind we're gonna summon out the blizzard and grab ourselves the value again sit a background and pass it on over okay all right, we're gonna, it is the right coast. So we will go ahead and flip it. We're going to hit the back row. We do hit the bottom of us. We do go ahead and get a good mill. We do get the plague spreader in the graveyard. Um, and we have the Kaya. So I said we go ahead and tribute summon for the Kaya. Hit the sh um, hit the value. We'll deal a thousand. Uh, we'll enter battle here. I assume a attempt to swing over the blizzard. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and swing. We'll go ahead and connect. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pass it on over to Sean. Sean's gonna go ahead and draw. Uh, I think we're asking a ruling question real quick. All right, yeah, Sean's gonna go ahead and draw. That's a pretty good draw. That is a pretty good draw. Whirlwind. And then we're gonna go ahead and summon out the Shura. We're gonna go ahead and attempt to search. I think we compulse this. If I'm correct, that is a compulse set. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and compulse it. Send it back, and then we're gonna go ahead and pass it back over to Nemo. Nemo's gonna go ahead and draw. Uh, I feel like we just go ahead and battle swing if we play four. Um, we have the bottomless for the Shura the next turn. Yeah, there's not really much we can do, so uh, we should just be entering battle here. Oh no, we do have the plague. That's actually right. We do have the plague. So I think do we go for more? Yeah, I think we're gonna go for more damage. So we're gonna go ahead and bring back the plague. Uh, most likely, I believe we're gonna go into colossal. Oh no, we're gonna go for a red dragon. Okay, go for red dragon. Swing in for three thousand. And set the back row and then pass the turn. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. 
All right, so we're going to go start off with the Shira. Shira's going to go ahead and get Bottomless. And then that is a wrap for game number one. All right. So for some more announcements, once again, uh, the IERC Season 3 has begun. All right. Season 3 is currently going on between, uh, over at Collectible Exchange and Gameology. And uh, if you all live in the Southern California area, uh, I would really love to see you guys come out and potentially participate. Uh, we do have uh, quite a bit of good prizing uh, for the event, uh, at least for, uh, not at least, but like uh, at the season end. Uh, so recently for season two, this is the prize that we had. We had an unlimited black rose, uh, second place, our first place got the unlimited black rose, second place got two ulti vanity fiends, the uh, OP01s, uh, third and fourth got unlimited dark Greffers, the secrets. Uh, fifth and sixth got Titanials, uh, ult both ultimate rares, and then seventh and eighth got Red Eyes Darkness medals. I believe it was the secret rare, the the, the Yugi's World one, I believe. And then uh, everyone got ten OTS packs, and uh, yeah, it was a bunch of fun. We had that happen. Uh, what was it? This is the tournament where this was uh, the prizing for that we're watching right now. And uh, yeah, if y'all want to come participate in some uh, very skillful, very uh, intense matches, uh, I would definitely recommend you guys come on boy. All right, so heading into game number two, Sean did take the L in game number one. We are going to go ahead and start off with sure double back row and then pass the turn. Uh, Nima does have the MST for one of them. I don't think we MST here. I don't think we blind it. I think we save it for something else. Uh, we are going to go ahead and start off with a, hmm, what are we going to do? All right, we are going to go ahead and set to the back row. We do, uh, we do get a Chris attack. That is unfortunate. Uh, Blizzard is going to go ahead and get summoned. Go ahead and grab the Shura. Uh, assume we can go into armed wing here. Oh no, we're gonna go for Goyo. We're gonna activate Skill Drain. And, oh, okay, so we're gonna go enter battle, swing in for 28, just in case he has the Gores. The Gores can come down, but it does not get its effect. Very good, very nice, very nice. Good, good pressure. We also did head, what is it? Uh, Bonomless and a Dust Tornado with the Acres attack earlier. Pretty good, all right. Oh, we're going to go ahead and special summon out the fortress. We're going to go enter battle swing. We'll take the 300, but we will go ahead and get back when it's destroyed. Go ahead and destroy a card that your opponent controls. And then I feel, oh, we're going to go ahead and pitch the force to get another fortress. We'll set a back out and then pass the turn. We do have the MSD set, which is going to be go crazy potentially. We are going to go ahead and set and pass. We do have the MST for the new back row, which was a Nicholas attack, so it is pretty assumed that it is a face down, um, face down Blackwing. All right, so Nima did go ahead and draw. He has Avarice in hand, and I didn't really see what the other one was. Okay, so we are going to go enter battle swing. We do swing over Sirocco, and then we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right, we're going to go ahead and draw. We're going to go ahead and special summon out Dad. Um,. I feel like we go down effect pop, right? First. Wait. Oh, wait, no, right. That's right. Skill drain. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Uh, so yeah, we'll swing. We'll clear the dad. And then we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. Uh, we are going to go ahead and set a monster and then pass it over to Sean. Sean's going to go ahead and summon up the Chura. We're just going to go and... Oh. We're gonna go enter battle swing. We'll take 200. It is three, and then we're gonna go ahead and synchro. Go ahead and make ourselves a armed wing, and then we're gonna go ahead and pass the turn. All right, Nemo's gonna go ahead and draw. We are gonna go ahead and activate charge. Oh, three monsters. Our avarice is now live, and we're off to the races. All right, we're gonna go ahead and search for a. I assume we're okay. We're gonna go ahead and grab a Raiko. Uh, we're then going to go ahead. I assume we're avarising here. Or no. We're summoning, synchroing, go ahead and make an iron chain. And then we're going to avarice. Mm 
Okay, so we're putting back gear frame, a four cyber dragon, uh, peacekeeper, and car trooper. All right, pretty huge, pretty huge, pretty huge. Let's go ahead and get the shuffling going. And let's see, we're gonna go ahead and do the cut. We'll go ahead and draw two. That is actually just cracked. We're gonna go ahead and special summon out. We're gonna go enter battle swing and then swing over 25. Healing 27 total. Oh, so good. So, so good. Uh, Alright, so we are going to go ahead and contact Fuse to go ahead and make ourselves the Primary Fortress. And then we're just going to go ahead and enter battle, swing over it, and then pass the turn. Uh, we are then going to go ahead and draw... Uh, do we have anything additional? No, we're just going to go enter battle, swing in for 25, set a monster, and pass it over to Sean. Sean's going to go ahead and upstart. We're going to go ahead and get that additional draw. I feel like this skill drain has really just been messing us up entirely. Uh, we are going to go ahead and compulse it, and that is going to be a wrap for game or for Sean right there. Setting him down to the loser's bracket. Um, so for anyone out there, uh, whenever you play in the top eight for the IERC, uh, it is double elimination. Uh, you know, nothing feels worse than just getting absolutely sacked, like in one of your rounds and then like you're out of the tournament entirely. So at least for us and the way I want to run it, uh, I want to, I want to run it double elimination for top eight. So that way you at least have like a chance to go ahead and potentially like battle your way back. That actually happened in the IERC season one where Nima got uh, put down into the loser's bracket uh, pretty early and then fought his way all the way back up the loser's bracket and went ahead and played in the grand finals versus Sean and uh, had some nutty games. And it was just it was just an all around great experience. I mean, it, it tends to be a lot more games played for the people that lose, uh, lose early, but um, you know, honestly, I think it just makes the event so much better. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and go start to go ahead and search for charge. Nima did go ahead and get some mills going. And Lila instead of back row. And then Joey's just going to go ahead and pass it back to Nima. Nima is then just going to go ahead and... Are we going to summon out the gear frame? I'm going to search. Oh no, we're going to summon out the card trooper. Card trooper to go ahead and mill. Uh, we do get some more targets in the graveyard for an avarice if we need it. And then we're going to go ahead and swing for 17. Are, are we swinging in for the 19? Okay, so we do have the heavy storm for the background. Sorry, I was getting some messages. And we're going to go ahead and uh, Garroth over the Lila. And then we're going to go and phase past the turn. Uh, we do have... Oh, we have two back row. And we're going to go ahead and pass it on over. Alright, so I assume we're going to car trooper here. Right? Uh, oh, we did. Oh, okay. Okay, so we so we have quick draw and dandy in hand. Uh, okay, so we're gonna mill three, mill four. Okay, so we have BD Crow, dandy. What is it? DD Crow, dandy. Oh, we have Caius in hand as well. Okay, BD Crow, dandy. Uh, quick draw and Caius. All right, so we're going to go and looks like we're going to enter battle here to go ahead and swing in. Okay, before that, we are going to go ahead and threatening roar. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and tribute someone for the Caius. We're going to go ahead and hit the monster. And I think we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn here, correct? Yes, we will. We're going to go ahead and draw. Joey does go ahead and grab himself his charge. He's going to go ahead and activate the charge. We're going to go ahead and mill, Lila, Lumina, and Honest. Ooh, some pretty good mills, pretty good mills. Uh, 
actually, okay, I might have an announcement uh, after this video, <laughs> uh, once we go and decide in this video. Uh, so let's see, what are we gonna go ahead and grab with charge here quickly? Okay, so we did have Delilah, sorry. Uh, I'm just getting some confirmation on something that might be happening this week in terms of tournaments for Edison. All right, uh, so we do go ahead and grab Delilah. We are then gonna go ahead and summon up Delilah. Uh, monster reincarnation targeting the Lumina, or no. Targeting the Honest, we do have the DD, the main deck DD Crow, by the way. All right, main deck DD Crow. This dude is a fucking animal. I fucking love Nima. That is just disgusting. Oh my goodness. All right, so we do go ahead and mill. All our mills are ass. And we're just going to go ahead and pass it on over. We are going to go ahead and Avarice. Let's see. What are we going to put back? Looks like we're going to put back Force. Oh, that's what is it. Force Debris. Gear Frame. Uh, DD Crow. And the other Force. Okay. So we're really hoping to pull another Force. That's what we're hoping, I assume. Either that, or maybe drawn to another Caius. Okay, so we do still have Quick Draw in hand. Uh, okay, so we do. Oh, we draw into the Gear Frame. That's actually kind of. That's actually kind of massive. We are going to go ahead and summon the Gear Frame. Gear Frame's going to go ahead and search ourselves out. The Force. Force is then going to go ahead and get pitched, I assume, for the Fortress. And. Um, yeah, we're gonna pitch for the fortress. I, I hope we equip. We do equip, and then we're just gonna go ahead and enter battle here potentially. Yeah, we do not have Garda and Graveyard. Yeah, we're gonna go enter battle, swing. Are we gonna mirror force this? Because uh, the attack is going through regardless. Yeah, we're gonna mirror force. The attack does go through. We do go ahead and deal. What is that? Five, six, seven, eight hundred points of damage. Yeah, an additional 100. And then... It looks like we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn here, or are we going to make quick draw? Looks like, Okay, yeah, we are going to go ahead and make quick draw. We will go ahead and get our tokens. We're going to go ahead and synchro, make the drill warrior, and then we'll go drill warrior back. So we're going to go ahead and pitch to go ahead and banish to pass the turn. All right, so we're going to go ahead and draw, and then our draw is uh, Cheeks, so we're just going to go ahead and scoop it up. Okay, so actually, um, potentially, uh, since this video will be going up tomorrow, which is Tuesday, September the 3rd, on September the 4th, it uh, looks like we might be having a Ghost Black Rose Tournament over at Collectible Exchange. All right. Um, this will be, of course, for the IERC Season 3. You know, Wednesdays is the uh, scheduled day for Collectible Exchange. But uh, it looks like we might be doing a Ghost Black Rose for prizing for this Wednesday, September the 4th Edison Tournament. All right. So uh, I don't really have a flyer made for that because I was not expecting it. But uh, I will go ahead and pull pull this up. So this is the flyer that we have for the location. You know, if any of you all have not been to Collectible Exchange, or if you want to and it's in the area and you want to compete for a potential Black Rose, uh, I definitely recommend you guys come on by. Um, and then also, since we're here, I haven't had a chance to show it. Oh, oh, wrong click, wrong click, wrong one. There we go. Uh, for anyone going to RBET New York, if you didn't see it in the print in the past post, we do have uh, in the latest or the 
yesterday's video we have it in here for today uh this is not the official official final design or final like one but this is like 80 percent to 90 percent of uh of the map so uh if you are looking if you are going to be participating in rbt uh new york the top eight mat is going to be uh sky scourge norialis all right this mat looks absolutely insane it looks beautiful uh, and I, I'm, I'm still so tempted to potentially just go ahead and buy a ticket to go ahead and go down there. Oh, it's just <sighs> so good. So, so good. Shout out to you just still, by the way, uh, they recently just had a drop and all their product. I don't know if they still have any in stock, but if y'all can't, uh, haven't yet, uh, I do think I have them linked down below. Uh, you guys can go ahead and check them out. They make some of the nicest mats you can quite possibly ask for. I uh, personally, I they're the only mats I use. Them and Dank Ritual are like the only two mat companies that I really use. And uh, yeah, no, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Uh, and then maybe I'll go ahead and show some pictures of the ones that I have uh, somewhere in this video, uh, probably like around here. Um, but yeah, that's really it for the announcements. Like really, uh, actually, since we have some time while they're sighting, I think I still have the, uh, oh no, I don't think I do. No, no, I was going to go ahead and, uh, I was going to go ahead and pull up the, um, the season one. Uh, rewards that we had, but um, I remember if I remember correctly, first place got a, an ulti Stardust, second place got a ulti Colossal, and then I kind of forget what everyone else got. And this was before Colossal was like dummy expensive too, so uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and what was it? If y'all haven't watched it, Nemo came in second on that one and uh, walked away with it. And uh, yeah, that thing has uh, gone up in a stupid amount of value, which is crazy. All right, Joey will be going ahead and going first because he did take the L round one. We are going to go ahead and start off with the recharge, pitching Ryko, mill two. Doesn't look like we're really getting much, so we just are going to go ahead and set a monster and then pass it over to Nima. Nima's going to go ahead and draw. Looks like we're kind of bricked up, so we are just going to go ahead and pass it through. We are going to go ahead and foolish for the wolf. We do have the DD Crow for the wolf. All right, now this is potentially more in the main deck than just inside. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and send an additional card and then go ahead and pass it over to Nima. Uh, Nima is gonna go ahead and set a back row and then pass it over to, uh, pass it over to Joey. We are gonna go ahead and Flip the Ranko to go ahead and hit the back row. Uh, we are going to go ahead and chain the Tarantula. We'll get the Mills. And then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and seven out Dino. Dino's really good. Really, really good. Uh, we'll go ahead and connect for 1200. And then we're going to go ahead and pass over to Nima. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set two. And then pass the turn. Let's see, we have, what, MST Foolish or MST Heavy? All right, so we're gonna go enter battle, swing in for 12. And then we're gonna go ahead and pass it back over to the, oh, we have Lightning Vortex, that's what it is, okay. Uh, yeah, we don't really have like much. I, I mean, I don't know if we, Lightning Vortex here yet? No, we're just gonna go ahead and just pass the turn. We're gonna wait for Joey to go ahead and commit something more to the board uh, before we go ahead and do anything like that. I think we have Mirror Force back there too, don't we? I think with what, Mirror Force Bottomless? All right, so we are gonna go ahead and take an additional 12 and then we're gonna go ahead and summon out the chain in main phase two. And we're going to go ahead and get some mills and then pass it on over. So if we are going to go ahead and Lightning Vortex, I think we do it now. Uh, 
Uh, so we are sorry. I'm just confirming. So yes, we are going to be doing the Black Rose. Uh, Ghost Black Rose tournament this Wednesday, September the fourth, over in Collectible Exchange. So uh, if y'all want a chance to go ahead and win that, uh, please do come on by. Uh, let's see. So uh, sorry, I wasn't really paying too much attention, but Nima does have Fortress on the field, and we're just gonna go ahead and pass it on back. So uh, Nima's actually, uh, you know, battling back here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mind crush. Uh, oh, we call JD and we do hit the JD out of hand. Oh, so good. We are gonna hit special summon Cyber Dragon. Uh, I feel like we have to bottom list this potentially. Right? Uh, no, we're just gonna go ahead and let it go. We'll go ahead and uh, get out the, uh, the fortress. Winter battle, swing it for 2000. Okay, that's fine. Or wait, did we already use the bottom list? Potentially, and maybe that's what happened. No, because then we'd have something else. All right, we're going to summon up the Dyna, and then we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right, we're going to go ahead and then draw. We'll set a monster, set a back row, and then pass it on over. Joey's going to go ahead and draw. Uh, we're going to switch to defense, and then we're going to go ahead and... Doing this... Do, do we really just... Do we want to commit anything else here? Uh... uh Okay, we are. We're going to go ahead and summon out the Garrock. There's the bottomless, so we will go ahead and bottomless that. We'll go ahead and enter battle, swing, and we'll get over the uh, Plague Spreader, which is fine. And then we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn. Ugh, I'm in a second die, and it's kind of rough. All right, so we are going to go ahead and normal summon out the Honest, and then we're just going to go ahead and uh, scoop it up. Okay, so I guess we didn't have Mirror Force. Maybe it was something else that I didn't see. All right. Yep, um, can confirm. I will have that flyer uh, ready for uh, potentially Wednesday's video. All right. Um, I don't really have any other announcements, I believe. So let's just go ahead and skip through to the dueling. All right, so Nima is going to be going ahead and going first this round, and or in this go around, uh, you know, just having the beyond the unfortunate end of a <laughs> of a Dyna, just kind of. Oh. All right, so we are going to go ahead and T set and pass. We are then going to go ahead and summon out the Lila, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, lightning prison mirror. But we will go ahead and set a back row and then pass over to Nima. He was going to go ahead and draw. We are going to go ahead and tribute summon for the Caius. Uh, Caius is going to go ahead and uh, attempt to hit the monster. And we will go ahead and get our tokens from Dandy. And we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right. Unfortunate pull of the rug right there. That is very unfortunate. But oh well. It is what it is. All right. Joey is then going to go ahead and summon out our Garna. We'll go ahead and swing for two. Kill the two tokens and then set a back row and then pass it over to Nima. Hmm. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, T set and then pass it over to Joey. Setting the soul exchange as a uh, potential bluff, you know. All right, so we are going to go ahead and I think we just go enter battle here and then if he has mirror force, he has it. Oh no, we're gonna, okay. We're going to go ahead and summon out the plague. We're going to go enter battle. And then we'll go ahead and grab our tokens, and then we'll go ahead and clear the tokens, and then we're gonna go ahead and pass the turn. All right, we're gonna go ahead and draw. Hmm. I feel like we do just summon the gear frame here, right? Yep, we're gonna summon the gear frame, gear frame effect. 
Vec resolves. That back row is a mirror force. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a fortress. I assume we're going to hand it. At. We're going to go ahead and pitch to special summon. All right, I think we're just going to go ahead and pitch the special summon, equip, and then attempt to swing over. Oh, no, never mind. We're going to go ahead and just go straight to battle and uh, walk into the mirror force. Uh, hmm. All right, we're just going to go ahead and pass it on over. Joey's going to go ahead and draw. We're going to go ahead and recharge. Draw to your mill, too. Not the, <laughs> just not the mills we want at all we are going to go ahead and heavy storm and i think we're just kind of just off the races right here i assume we go plague uh synchro with the necrogardena go ahead and make a taster or we just go straight to battle um yeah okay we are going to go ahead and synchro I don't think we make Android here, do we? I guess we are making Android. Okay. Uh, Hunter Battle swinging for 17. Uh, are we going to swing in for 24? Nope, we're just going to go to end phase. We'll go ahead and gain our 600, and then we're going to go ahead and pass it on over. Anyone's gonna go ahead and draw for a turn. Do we do we black those here potentially? Okay, yeah. We're gonna summon up the debris and grab the dandy. Uh we will go ahead and make black rose here, I assume. Go ahead and just clear the board. Mm-hmm. Black rose, black rose effect. One, two, boom, both board, grab our tokens. And I feel like we pitched for Fortress here. No, well, mm. yeah, never mind. Because we do know about the plague in the graveyard, and we don't really like want to go ahead and bring that out, and then I just get walked over by like uh, potentially like a um, oh wow, a Goyo Guardian or something like that. Oh. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and... All right, we are going to go ahead and stack the plague. Okay, we're going to go ahead and summon. Swing, swing. Get rid of both the tokens. That way there's no tribute fodder. Uh, oh, okay, we're going to Avarice here. One, two, three, four, five. Do we have the DD Grow? No, we don't. And then we're going to go ahead and draw two. We'll go ahead and return to hand. And then we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right. So we do have Necrogarden still in graveyard. So uh, I think we want some of the card trooper mill. Here, right? Are we? Yeah, we'll summon the card trooper, mill, one, two, three. Not the best of mills, unfortunately. Uh, I, I feel like we special summon out of the fortress here. Never mind, we're just gonna go enter battle, swing. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pass the turn. All right, Joey's gonna go ahead and draw. We do have the reincarnation, which is kind of nice. We will special summon out the Cyber Dragon. We're gonna go ahead and contact. I mean, okay. I guess we didn't want to overextend potentially into a Cyber Dragon, which is very fair. Uh, uh, we don't have the names for JD, but we do have an Honest in Hand, so we will go enter battle swing, hit in for 11. Um, 
Main phase two, bounce it, and then we're gonna go ahead and pass the turn. All right. We do still have the Garda in grave. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and smash another fortress. And yeah, we'll go ahead and enter battle. Swing, we will let it connect. Okay, okay. Uh, do we set the MST? We do, and then we're gonna go ahead and pass the turn. All right, we're gonna go ahead and draw special summon. Do we have the second? We do have the second. Yep. Alright, and the new one, it looks like he's at 52, I believe. So, not in game range just yet. Alright, so we're going to go enter battle, swing in for 2,000. It will connect. Yeah, we're at 32 now. And I assume we just pass right here, right? Yes, we will. Alright, Nemo's going to go ahead and draw. We're going to go ahead and bring back the fortress. I think we just go enter battle here, swing, right? Yeah, we'll swing. We'll get the 500 in. Saving the Gardner for probably when it's a little bit more pressing. And then we're just going to go ahead and solely hit all the monsters. One, two, three, four, and five. Hits everything. And then passing it over to Joey. All right, and Joey's going to go ahead and draw. Uh, he's then going to go ahead and summon Lila. We do know about the Honest Hand. And we're gonna go enter battle swing. We drop the honest. We'll go ahead and take the 17. Bringing us down to 15. And then we're gonna go effect, go ahead and pop the Lila. And then we'll go ahead and pass the turn. All right, we're gonna go ahead and draw. We draw to a Raiko. Uh, it feels a little late to draw it. Uh, and then we're just gonna go ahead and pass it over to Joey. All right, Joey is then gonna go ahead and boss the reincarnation target the Lila. <sighs> that is fine. Okay, I'll swing. We'll go ahead and pop it. And we'll go ahead and get some mills. We mill Cyber Dragon. Alright. And looks like we're only at, what, two names potentially? Maybe three? I can't tell. And then we're going to draw into nothing good. And then we're going to set pass, set pass. We're going to go ahead and draw. We draw into brain control. Uh, oh no, we not bad but like we need something we need something more so we have brain control caius and i couldn't tell what the other card is is that torrential yeah honestly i can't tell what it is all right so we are going to go ahead and flip the Ryko. We mill the names that we need. We're gonna go ahead and um, seven at the Celestia, and then that is going to be game. All right. Thank y'all very much for watching. Uh, I hope y'all had a good time and enjoyed the video. If y'all saw any misplays, please let me know down in the comments below. And also, if y'all want to compete for a Ghost Black Rose Dragon, uh, swing by Collectible Exchange over on. Um, Wednesday this week, September the f uh, September of the fourth. All right, and uh, feel free to come on and compete. All right, thank you all very much, and uh, have a good one.